Hi guys, my name is Ante, and today we'll talk about deep linking, universal links, and URL schemes, and what does that mean? Because lately there are some nomenclature issues with that. So today we'll go through uh, why do we even need something like URL schemes and universal links? Uh, how do we use them? And just to define what deep linking finally is. <coughs> So let's go through the uh, App Sandbox part. So what is App Sandbox? Well, that's a uh, uh, access control technology used on Mac OS and Mac OS X and on iOS. Uh, what it does, it like um, defines the logical space within which within the app resides. So what what does actually mean is the app can apps cannot share resources between them. Not in a simple way, like on a, I don't know, some other like desktop machine, and um, it improves security in that way that if one a app is compromised, it cannot, uh, well, it cannot do anything wrong to any other files which are shared. Okay, it's enforced at the kernel level, so it's not in our control. So if we look at our apps like that. Our home screen should look like this, so a bunch of sandbox spaces. So what if we had some hand-drawn popular social networking app? Uh, how would it communicate with other apps? So we can check on the next slide, how does it see other apps? Yeah, it doesn't see them at all. So what uh, on the first impression, what would we think about uh, App Sandbox will be something like this. So in order to communicate with other apps, it's not that good. But let's rethink about that. So App Sandbox points is not to ease up inter-app communication. It's more of a security-based thing. Um, it's not a complete restriction just because having your schemes and universal links. It's more of a controlled access. And uh, if we ever used or build an iOS app, you've used it maybe without even knowing that. So now when we have App Sandbox, now what? So there's, uh, we'll talk about inter-app communication, the ways to achieve that. What inter-app inter uh, communication includes is URL schemes and universal links, which are introduced lately with iOS 9. So let's go through URL schemes first. So what are URL schemes? Uh, they are based on a protocol, they are protocol-based communication in between apps. Uh, what we need to do to achieve it is to define a URL scheme, which is kind of in our control, which is not that good of a thing, on the receiving app. And we use can open URL, URL and open URL in the sender app to open it and to communicate with it. It allows arguments passing, and since iOS 9, it requires whitelisting which means that any domain which we communicate with, we need to define in our info plist file. So let's go through that. How do we set it up? So simple, in the build settings of your project, if you open info, you see under URL types, you can add your own URL scheme. Here you can see we use the reverse URL notation, similarly we do with the bundle ID. And this is, we define this whatever we want. I mean, whatever we want. Not exactly whatever we want, because if we define something like uh, SMS, HTTP, then the Apple will interfere and use its own apps for that. But if we define something like SSL pinning, it will use our app when someone else calls it. So this is how our info plist file looks after that, part of it. So the keys, the key keys here are bundled URL name and URL schemes. You can see that this is an array, so we can have multiple. We're not uh, constrained to just one. Uh, how do we get it? So if someone calls our app, uh, can you see this? OK. The blue. Uh, it's basically a UI application app delegate object, which uh, and this is the application a app open URL options method, delegate method, which is called when 
some app wants to communicate with our app. So in the URL argument, we get the URL which the app sent. It can be, we'll actually see that on the later slide. And in options, we can get uh, which app called us. So we have the source. Okay, so how do we invoke it? We invoke it by the open URL, still blue, okay. So here it says, your application, shared application, can open URL. So we define the URL as SSL pinning double dot slash slash open home. And we want to check, does our device support that link? Do we have an SSL pinning app installed? Actually app which has SSL pinning URL scheme. And can we open it? I mean, do we have it and we open it? Okay. So some of the native URL schemes are mail to, tell, there's tell prompt actually too. Uh, the difference with tell and tell prompt, they both redirect to, uh, <coughs> I mean, not redirect, direct to phone app and call with the argument of phone number, but tell prompt returns us to our own app after. Uh, FaceTime, SMS, while Maps and iTunes use the default HTTP scheme, which is like, s you can say, starting of the universal links because they used it before. You, you say HTTP double slash, uh, double dot slash slash maps dot something, it will redirect you to the Maps app or the iTunes app if it, if it was HTTP double dot slash slash iTunes something. What's the best thing about this? So, what if we don't have that app installed? there's no good way to handle it. We cannot redirect user, we cannot do anything with it. It's buggy lately, it has some issues, especially in RS9, the updates, they don't look good. So when you look at it from some broader perspective, you, sh you could think that it's kind of being deprecated in favor of universal links. So what are universal links? In short, they're introduced in RS9, used in RS9 and above, require a bit more complicated setup, and yeah, you have to have a server for them because they are universal links, which means they are web links, which means they are domain-based and you need to have like sure URLs. So the thing about them, few things about them is they're unique, so they cannot be like SSL pinning, which we defined in the first URL scheme, because they are, as I said, domain-based. You cannot have two google.coms, at least not on the same domain server. Okay, they're secure because they use, um, we'll talk about that later, but there's a file which you need to use in your web server root directory, which is being checked when the iOS uh, sees that there's a request for an app to be opened or the URL. And, he and the iOS checks, should it open the app? or the web URL, but first it looks at this file, which is in the, we'll talk about it later. It's flexible, why is it flexible? It's a universal link, so it's HTTP slash, sla double dot slash slash, I don't know, some app dot com slash some arguments. If we have some app open, I mean installed on our device, the iOS will try to open that app. If not, it will just go to that link if we are in Safari or whatever. They're simple, they, bo they work both for your websites and your app. They're private, which means you don't have to check and you don't want to check and you actually can't check. Uh, is the app installed? You just try to use the link. If it goes through, it goes through. You don't know, did we go to the app, which is in the device, or did we go to the website? So how do we set it up? There's an uh, app website association file, which contains the JSON data about the URLs that app can handle, and we have to upload it to the server. That's that file which, which is being checked when we try to open that app. It looks something like this. So it has an, uh, this is actually a file for two apps. So we can see here it's, first app is bundle ID is com apple wwdc, and it allows wdc slash news domains to be opened. I mean the domains by paths and video slash WDCW uh, slash 2015 slash star, which is like every other directory similar to regular expressions. I mean, exactly like in the regular expressions. And for the other app, come Apple WDC with another bundle ID, it's all, all domains from the, 
can be open with it. OK, so from the app side, we need to add an entitlement, which spe specifies the domains that app supports. That's the same thing as the whitelisting for your app schemes. And oh yeah, we need to uh, use this method, application continue user activity restoration handler, to handle calls to our app from some other app. So our app is the one which implemented the, the universal link. And in the NS user activity object, we can uh, get the web page URL property, which <coughs> contains the call URL and argument. So finally, what is deep linking? <coughs> Well, deep linking is just a term describing uh, describing navigation to an app, but with specified pager resources to navigate to. It's been uh, used a lot lately, but especially since the universal links arrived, so people just mess that up. I also, when I uh, had one change request from a client, I uh, read a few, I mean, few minutes I read about it and it was I was like, this is not, something's wrong here. So I wanted to like investigate and see what's up. So deep linking was here before universal links. It was here when there was uh, URL schemes because in Europe we can see that right here. So this right there, that's a, this is the URL scheme thing. The same shared application can open the ruler and open URL methods. So what is deep linking? Is this part here? So we have an argument. We don't. We just don't open the SSL pinning app. We send an argument which has open home. So if it's a, if it has a menu or taskbar, we can open home home view controller. So nothing else. That's all that deep linking is. Universal links are complete, completely. I mean, not completely different thing, but they're messed up usually. So what's the bottom line? If we compare URL schemes and universal links. It's something like, I don't know if any of you guys remember when, when there was like those first graphics comparing uh, SOAP and JSON. So this was SOAP and this was JSON. So your schemes are light. They're, there's no need for server. If you have two apps that you're maintaining by yourself, it's easy to implement some kind of communication with arguments that work very good. Uh, the bad thing about it is what if the app is not installed? It doesn't have a good handle for it. Uh, but for, for universal links, they're a bit heavier. Uh, one link to rule them all, kind of. Uh, security oriented more and has a good no app handle just because it's a link, which leads to yeah, web page or the app. So uh, if you can see from how things are going on and how the, uh, they kind of, I mean, I think they're kind of defecating your schemes. It seems that the Apple is pushing UL schemes out in favor of universal links completely. Yeah, that's that sad story. That's it. Uh, any questions? Uh, it's a simple subject, so you can ask answers. <laughs>